how to use two headsets on X-Plane or Microsoft Flight Simulator. There are two sound cards option, internal and external. Internal is built in and externals are USB add-on cards. To use two headsets, we can either use a stereo headphone splitter or we also have an option to use a wireless headphone splitter with 3.5 mm stereo jack, but no mics can be used. For external headphone option, we can use USB sound cards or USB headsets. In order to get two sound cards to work together, we have to install a software. Search for voice meter in your browser. The link is in the description below. When you go to the side, select voice meter tab and scroll down. You can either download the zip package or install straight from the exe file. After installing voice meter on your system, open audio or sound settings in your computer. In the volume mixer, click system sounds. This will open a sound setting window. Now click playback tab and scroll down to look for VB audio voice meter drivers. Click on it and select and click set default button. Now, press Recording tab and scroll down to look for VB Audio Voice Meter Drivers. Once again, click on it and set it to default. Now press OK and close Volume Mixer. Now configuring Voice Meter. Press Hardware Input 1 and select first sound card mic input from the list of installed sound cards. Now press hardware input 2 and select second sound card mic input from the drop down list below. I will tell you about virtual input later in the video. These are the hardware outputs. Click A1 and select the same card as in for hardware input 1. Now click A2 and select the same sound card as in hardware input 2. And now it is ready. Hi, so now you can see my uh, headphones speaking right over here because uh, uh, this would be mine and this would be mine. That's correct. So now you're able to hear, I'm able to hear him and of course myself. And uh, he is able to hear you. Perfect. You. Yes. So this is how you are able to connect. I'll just explain you once again so that you see this hardware input, hardware input one and hardware input two. So when it says hardware input, basically you're talking about a microphones uh, which are hardware connected uh, to your computer. And uh, of course, in that case, you have to have two uh, sound cards. Well, one would be we are using the inbuilt one, and the other is the USB, which I told you there are two types of uh, sound cards the internal and the external. So uh, we are using the internal as well as the external USB for the hardware input. Now, uh, the virtual input is basically all the computer sounds, uh, like you're using any music uh, from the background or you're using uh, 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 YouTube channel or anything. So any kind of uh, external input, if you have, uh, running through the computer will also get connected. That would be on channel B. So this is how you uh, connect them. Now, when it comes to listening, uh, you again here you have two parts in here uh, as 1A hardware out. It says hardware out, so 1A and 1, uh, sorry, A1 and A2. So in A1, we are selecting 
one of the headphones, not the mic, out, out would be on the, the headphones and input is always the mic. So one of the headphones, so I'm using the headphone here, this is mine, so I'm using for A1 and when I connect to A2, then I'm using this is the internal computer because we are using uh, 3.5 mm uh, pins for uh, Eric's uh, headphone. So we are using that one over here. So this is how I'm able to uh, listen to his conversation and uh, that we are able to listen to uh, each other. And uh, when you are running uh, explain, uh, that output is generated over here so whatever the sound you're listening to from explain will actually come through the virtual board so in that case uh, we are commonly listening to the sounds the ADC the engine everything everything uh, those sound effects from explain and at the same time we are able to talk the only demerits we had uh, seen with connection of uh, explain and uh, voice meter. Uh, with voice meter the only problem is that when I'm speaking I'm able to listen to my own voice and when uh, the other person is speaking he's listening to his own voice at the same time. Now this is a problem when we have uh, delay. Uh, so when there is latency, when there is a delay when we are speaking and that you are listening it really distracts so especially when you're talking to each other, it's okay, but when you're trying to relay instructions and uh, read back, it uh, gives, uh, it's slightly irritating and gives a little problems. Second, uh, with Explain, uh, I, we would really, really appreciate that if they, they had the same thing what uh, FSX had, when you go to the sound effects, you have already seen, when you go to the sound settings, you are able to use two cards. Now the benefit of that was that one of the cards can be used directly as uh, the engine sound or ambient sound of the aircraft but the other one is using the communication. So that means whenever the ATC is trying to communicate to you whether it's an inbuilt ATC uh, uh, that's actually coming directly to your headphone and then you're listening to the sound of the engine and ambience all over uh, on your speaker system. So that is an excellent uh, uh, setup you could say. I really wish that Explain uh, could do that and uh, if they could improvise on their ADC sound effect and also if they can uh, do the system where you are able to listen to the engine sounds and all of the ambient sounds on one sound system and then you can listen to uh, the ATC on the other one. Now uh, the first part as I said there is a latency and I can hear myself. I really would have appreciated that if they have is like A1 here and uh, they would have used a virtual B uh, here could have been C and B1 could have been the other. So in that case what I'm speaking could have just gone directly to his headphone and what he's speaking could have gone directly to my headphone. In that case we are not listening to our own conversation. That, that, that would have been really good. Uh, if you know, the, see, we are, we are just learning. There could definitely be, you know, solution to this, or they provide. Pro probably we have to uh, get a better version or paid version to do the same. So do let us know. Just come in because we are in still in learning stage, and we will really appreciate uh, if you enhance our knowledge uh, about the same, and uh, we can uh, then talk the way we talk uh, in PADCOM. In fact, uh, uh, working on PADCOM was, uh, this was the prime reason for us to work on it. We did make a hardware circuit, uh, being inspired by one of the YouTubers who made uh, the hardware circuit on an intercom. Uh, we made that, but it was having the same problem. Like when we are talking, we are able to listen to our own voice, which I was not interested in. 
and uh, that gave us a great idea that why not we just get into uh, uh, using a stereo system and uh, when I'm speaking on a left channel that the other person is able to hear it on his uh, left uh, output and when the other person is speaking on the left uh, sorry the right output I'm able to listen to the conversation in that case uh, we are not listening to our own voices so I hope uh, you like this uh, before I uh, close, I just want to tell you, you can use these two mics not only for listening uh, on or using on an X-Plane, but you can also use it uh, for uh, your uh, audio recording. Okay, so now we come to uh, the Audacity, or you can use any audio editing software to record at the same time. Make sure the most important thing is you have to you choose your input as uh, the microphone as a voice meter. And uh, once we are used that, right, you can see you are able to see the meter. And uh, uh, this is my voice. And this is my voice and the meter is working. Yeah. Perfect. So let's start uh, recording. Hi, this is Eldrin. Welcome to Simovision. Hello, I'm Eric from Simovision. Welcome. Fantastic. So uh, Eric is the pilot for Simovision uh, Simulator. And let's stop the recording and review it. Hi, this is Eldrin. Welcome to Simovision. Hello, I'm Eric from Simovision. Welcome. Fantastic. So uh, Eric is the pilot for Simovision uh, Simulator. And let's stop the recording and review it. Okay, so that was uh, the recording. Let's close it. Now, um, uh, you you can also record your conversation at the same time when you're listening uh, to the background sound of x -Plane. So let's uh, enable the background sound and uh, let's uh, record. Right, configure flaps uh, 15%. Landing gear down. Landing gear down. Three green. Fantastic. Okay, so that was uh, the recording, including the background sound. Let's listen to it. Right, configure flaps uh, 15%. Flaps 15. Landing gear down. Down. Three. Fantastic. There you are. So you can uh, use two headphones uh, with microphone using uh, voice meter. Um, this is a free software you can download and it's really good. F fantastic work uh, and it really helps. This is how you can do your online uh, to uh, microphone input uh, streaming or, or you can pretend to be in a cockpit and as a real aircraft listening to the ATC together and communicating with each other right thank you so much uh, I hope you have enjoyed the, the video as much as we have enjoyed bringing it to you if you have any suggestions, comments, or anything you would like to enlighten us with the knowledge, you're very welcome. You can always uh, comment uh, uh, in our video. You're very welcome. Take care, and uh, thank you for watching Simovision. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe and share the video and the channels for others. And Take care, and be safe.